son playing with his leg and arm, but not having him be too wound up about it. Yes. So when we think about handling, it's not just about keeping them comfortable and happy about being touched, but also calm about being touched. And calm is not in your nature, is it? At least not when food's involved. Yes. I'm going to change the count because I don't want them to get excited at three to say, oh, it's food. But I like doing counts because I think it helps teach them that we're still continuing. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And I'm not squeezing his ball or anything like that. I mean, eventually I want to hold his paw, but I, I'm obviously not going to squeeze it like pressure, like correction. But you know, I'm gonna hold it to hold it still so the vibration of the tremble. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, One, two, three. One, two, three. So this means SIT. I don't want him to hurt me. saying that to him just so you can see you know what I'm doing since you can't see him one
Um, and again, where I'm holding his foot, I'm holding it, but there's no pain or pressure just making me, and when he moves too much, I go with him so it doesn't hurt him. I do. So I want to be able to hold it at this point now, hold the foot, not have him mug me, not have him kick it out. And I drop the food when he does those things. drop it. <laughs> and part of this kick too, he doesn't want me to hold it, but he also kicks when he's excited. But again, you can't have it when we're trying to his feet, his nails. Right, so let me see, just to make it easier for this other leg, I'm going to go ahead and get in the standing position. Pick it up. Oh, big bird. So I want to have him not mug. That's okay, the foot fell out, but that's okay. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to both of our YouTube channels for more free content.